just as great. So here we are. Welcome back to the Rogue River. We are at Black Bar Lodge at the end of day one. We are here again with Helfrich River Outfitters, just spending four days on the Rogue River. You might remember Helfrich River Outfitters from the Middle Fork video that I did, I don't know, some time ago. And you might remember this river from the first backpacking trip I ever did with my mom. And we are here to fish. We are looking for steelhead, steelhead trout. Steelhead are the only trout, or one of the few trout, that come from the ocean, go out to the ocean and come back up the river. So, day one, we have arrived at Black Bar Camp, a uh, rustic camp out here in the middle of nowhere where we're uh, grilling up some pork chops and baking some biscuits and seeing some old friends. Got to bring Mikel along on this trip, so. Just a good time down the river with friends. It just doesn't get any better really not going very than this. Get up on that concrete grinder. Ooh, I should have. Show off your man strength. Some good camp food. Kids will eat it like six. And you are our, our guide, our chef. Thank you. 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 Day two of our Rogue River adventure. Kind of day two, it's a little bit of day three because the first day was getting here. And when we got here, we stayed at Morrison Lodge, which in itself was an experience with a lovely dinner and just a lovely way to relax and chill. And the other cool part about this trip, if you didn't notice already, is that it's a lodge trip. So instead of camping on this river like my mom and I did, uh, you can go from lodge to lodge. Some of them rustic, some of them more luxury than others, but the lodge experience in itself is 
chef's kiss. Mikkel chose to do a little bit of hiking today. She hiked four miles of the Rogue River Trail. And if you don't know what the Rogue River Trail is, my mom and I backpacked it together a few years ago. And you can see that video uh, here and I'll link it down in the description. So if you don't have a boat and you still wanna experience the Rogue River, backpacking it is always a great choice. And we packed all our gear and stayed in tents, but you can do the whole lodge thing hiking as well. Where do you guys pick the flowers? What about uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Bernie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's early day three, and we're at Half Moon Bar Lodge, a much more modern lodge here on the Rogue River, a very modern lodge with some amazing creature comforts. The stay last night was wonderful. They have a beautiful two acre garden on the property where most of the food that they serve is grown. Because there's no roads back in here, it's uh, quite a haul <laughs> with a jet boat and a car to get groceries or anything like that. So the garden comes in very handy. Mikel and I stayed in our own little cabin last night. Just wonderful and Mikel rates the shower here, 10 out of 10. There's a full bar. It's just, uh, it's a good time. Why am I out this early? Well, apparently there's a bear, a black bear named Clyde that lives out here. We have seen his poop all around and I was trying to get out here early to see if I could meet him, but no luck. He must have taken his food and run, so. All right, getting into day three today. We're getting into the fish, so gonna be a good fishing day here on the Rogue River.
So here we are, final leg of the trip, final lodge, just uh, one more half day left and I am gonna miss the rogue. The fishing today definitely got a lot better and uh, even Macau who did some limited fishing on this trip was able to land a few uh, steelhead. It's fun to see her get to do that, fun to see everyone having a good time, taking bets on the uh, biggest fish. And God, I love the I love the colors of this place, the fall colors. I think that might be my favorite. Uh, I don't know, it's just, it's hard to beat this river. It's my second time on it. And now getting able to fish it with Helfrich and my girlfriend and these people we got to meet. And, the Rogue is slowly becoming my favorite river. <laughs> and that might be sacrilege, being a guy from Idaho, that it should be the snake or the salmon or something, but man, this river's changed my life twice and uh, it's just hard to deny. So if you ever get the chance to see the Rogue, come over and see it. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.